Hello everyone and welcome back into my kitchen. Come on, let's make this dish. All right guys, so I have a little supporter who lives across the ocean. He's such a little cutie, his name is Liam. He's too young to subscribe, but I know he supports me and he has a birthday this week. So, I decided I'm gonna make a birthday cake for him. Now, um, what I'm, I found this recipe online uh, about how to spruce up a box cake. And that's what I'm gonna be using today. I will tell you what I have here. I've chosen this party rainbow chip cake mix and I have one packet of that in here. I also have one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of granulated sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, and yeah, that's all the dry ingredients. And it also calls for one cup of milk and the instructions are to just pour everything in. So that's my type of recipe, I love it. One cup of milk, I have four egg whites and everything needs to be room temperature. I have half of a cup of vegetable oil. You can use any mild tasting oil. And I'm gonna put a teaspoon of almond extract. I'm calling that a teaspoon. And my oven is preheating at 350 and I also have one cup of sour cream. So I'm going to get all of this in here and use my hand mixer to get it combined. Okay, everything's in there. Alright, my mix is ready to go and I've cut a piece of parchment paper and all you do is get a piece of parchment, fold it and try to gauge where the end of your pan is and then cut it into a round. So now we have sort of a circle that goes here into the bottom of my pan. It just makes it easy for us to get the cake out later. And I am greasing my pan here. Let me get my cake in. Instructions say at 350 for 30 to 35 minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me get it uh, smoothened out. I don't know why my my uh, what you call it is foaming up like that. My baking spray. Anyway, I'm trying to make my cake nice and smooth on top. Give it a couple of taps and we're going into our oven 350 for 30 to 35 minutes. All right, so our cake just came out of the oven. It was actually in there for 45 minutes and I'm planning to use this uh, whipped cream cheese frosting to put on it, but obviously I can't do that right now because I have to let my cake cool completely. I will um, let it cool and once I frost it, I'll come back and let you see what it looks like. Um, I'm going to show you some pictures here of cute little Liam. Alright guys. Guys, thank you so much for joining me while I made this quick, very uncomplicated cake. And look how lovely this turned out. Thank you so much for staying with me and I hope you come back next time when I promise to make another delicious recipe. Happy birthday, Liam!